Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today I'm going to show you how I edit most of my videos, especially the, the short videos. I'm going to show you how I still use Windows Movie Maker for that. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so we all know now that uh, they don't have Windows, uh, Windows Essentials is what it is, um, Windows Live Essentials, so it doesn't have Photo Gallery anymore, it doesn't have uh, Movie Maker, you know, it's got some, some type of something on there, it's supposed to be better than Movie Maker and it's not. Now I do have, um, I do have down here at the bottom, I don't know if you can see them, but down here I've got all these different I've got let's see one two three four I've got four uh, editors and the one I use next to um, it's it's cyberlink power director 1564 bit but I've upgraded that to uh, power director 16 by cyberlink um, I think I gave 60 bucks for that software very good software uh, there's all kinds of things you can do on it, but over here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's my photo gallery and my movie maker, Windows Movie Maker. Now, they don't, um, like I said, they don't do them anymore, but I had to go online and I searched and I searched and found it. But that's that's my go-to one when I don't have to do a lot of, a lot of you know, weird stuff, zooming and, and all that stuff. Because uh, I still got slow motion, fast motion, and everything on this. Now, uh, the first thing you, that I got to do is, of course, I've got to import the my video clips from the camera that I'm using now onto the computer. And a couple different ways you can do that is you can plug your camera directly into the computer. And uh, I know a lot of you guys are going to say, that's not the computer, that's a monitor. Technically, this is the computer. This is a HP all-in-one computer. We don't like it that much, but it's all we could get at the time. I'm still wanting to get a good tower so I can do a lot more stuff with a lot more memory. But until then, we're using this. It's working fine. Now, um, so like I said, you can plug it directly into the computer. Or you can use your memory card, which this camera takes this micro mini, so I'd have to use the sleeve, right? And do that. Now, on this computer, the memory card slot is up under here right right there it is so you gotta you gotta fiddle around with it to try to find it there it is and then right beside it right here where my finger is is the power button so if you ain't careful and you're trying to push that up in there you can shut your computer off and it's like damn now I gotta you know and I, I mean that's piss poor design no arrow no nothing um, I don't know if it's supposed to be like a line underneath this I don't know but it's not you gotta look for it so this is a review I did on this thing that I've got under here. It's that little uh, coffee warmer or teacup warmer, whatever. But it's also a four, four port USB hub. So I use it for this little gadget over here, which I, I, I done an unboxing on. I forget. I think I got it at a yard sale or something. But it's a memory card slot reader. You know, it's got four memory card slots. Now we're going to... We're going to put this into this one up here. So if you watch the computer while I do this, it should bring up photo gallery for me. Or, well, it'll bring up, uh, it'll actually bring up to where you can um, see, you can look at your, your photos that are, that are on that card. So, um, why didn't it work? Okay. Oops, there we go. Now, sometimes it takes it a minute because it's got to read that card. There it goes. And that's one of Monkey's dresses. I had to take a picture of for her because I put it online. It's a brand new dress. From JCPenney. It was like 120 bucks or something. Uh, still got tags on it. But anyway, we're not here for that. Now let's X out of that. I'm going to get down here at the bottom. I'm going to open up Photo Gallery. And there's my photo gallery. I'm going to hit import. And right here is the is the card that we just stuck in. We're going to hit import. And it should bring up all our... There we go. 
Now it's not going to bring up everything, it's only going to bring up what I have new. This is all older stuff on that card. Okay, so I'm going to check, I'm going to view these eight items right here. This is a picture that I took a little bit ago and sent to Monkey. So these seven items right here are what I want to import. Okay, that's of the um, the uh, the the fuel line on a scooter. I just uh, you guys might have just seen. It's in my last video, so I'm going to import this. I'm actually really doing it right now for you, um, from start to finish. That's why you'll see this one next. <laughs> so I'm going to import it, and you know sometimes it takes a couple minutes. Um, because it is a little slow, but it's actually I find that that uh, it's it's quicker than than using any other than plugging the camera in. Um, it's actually quicker than using the actual the the memory card reader that that came with this system. That's clear up under there. It's uh, faster than that, but it does you know whenever you're importing stuff, it does take some time. Uh, these two are the video clips that I put up yesterday of my bad day. So, then I'm going to hit edit. And I'm going to fade in fast. I'm going to fade out fast. Then I'm going to turn the volume all the way up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I get to where about I want to be. And then I'm going to hit set start point. Right there. Okay. Now over here down at the bottom I can zoom zoom this uh, my storyboard so I know where I'm at here okay just like that so and I can see where animations there we go should be should fade in like that and click that for some reason it's not taking it animations let's try a different animation okay took that one so let's go back to that all right there we go now we got our we got our transition which I'm fading in and then right when I right before I get ready to talk I'm gonna hit the start point and that's under edit start point right up there hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here and then I'm gonna check and see if that's what I'm looking for Shane Bear here, it is... Okay, so I kind of like that. About eight minutes after nine. Let's work on the scooter. Okay, so I'm going to go about right there. And I'm going to hit set endpoint. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring up my intro clip, which is over here. And I'm going to bring it up here, and I'm going to put it right beside it. Now, let's back this up a just a hair and let's see if that's going to be what we're looking for. Let's work on the scooter. There we go. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to stop that. Now the second clip is ready. Now I'm going to go ahead and... Whoops. I'm going to do an animation. I'm just going to fade it. I mean there's a lot of animations on here. Um, a bunch of them. Whoops. So, I mean, you got all of them you can use. Um, but I'm just going to use the fade. I'm just going to fade it in. And same way here, I'm going to edit it. I'm going to, edit, I'm going to uh, fade it in fast, the audio, and I'm going to turn it all the way up. Now, this time, I'm not going to fade it out yet because we have to cut this, this section. So, this clip will, will be cut a couple times probably. So, let's see here. Let's get this. Okay, I'm going to go about right there. I'm going to hit set start point and see if that's what we're looking for. Okay, guys. We've got... There we go. This piece of line here. Fuel line. Okay, so that's good. Now let's bring it up here. I don't think I'm going to have to... Here on this side somewhere. So I have to cut this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this... In the middle this anyways. This out. Which the whole seat and everything will come off of it. And then we'll get a look at what's inside of it. Now I'm going to stop it right there. I'm going to hit set endpoint. Now we're on our next clip. As soon as I hit play, see, here's our next clip. Now I'm going to hit set start point. 
no fade, no nothing, and I'm just going to turn the volume up on it. And I'm just going to go until I, right before I'm ready to talk. Okay. Now right down here, that's the filter. Right there, so it goes on this end, and then right up in here, let me turn the light on for you. Okay, so I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to slide this over here to the right. I'm going to slide it. I know there's a part in here I think I may need to cut out. I don't know. Let's see here. No. Okay, so I won't have line, to cut this in the middle. So. so, we're going to replace that section too. So, I'm going to stop that right there. And then we should be on to the next clip. Okay, now we're on our next our next clip and I know I'm going to have to cut this because I was having trouble with the line getting the the hose to go on the fuel line to go on There's her line. onto the filter on so I'm going to filter. cut that and the reason why I do that is so you guys don't have to just sit and watch somebody fumble with something I know you just want to see get to you know get to how it actually went on there you no, know what I mean so clean see there's letters on here it says flow okay so we know we're there alright I'm talking about the flow and here I do believe I'm trying to get you set up and let's get this there we go line put on here See, it can be a pain in the ass. Now, these lines will shrink after a while, too, so. Just give it a twist. So, you want to watch a minute of it to make sure you're wanting to get to where you want to go. Now, you can also use. See, like this right here. A pair of pliers to help you. You know. So I'm going to cut this section out, maybe. So I want to go back up here. All the way up on there. Okay, so I'm going to split it. Now I'm going to go down. Down here to where, to where I want to start it at. And I'm going to hit set start point. Okay. So that way it just skips all that rigmarole. Keep twisting until it goes all the way up on there. I don't want to take any chances on it. Right? Okay. So let's back that up. About right there. Set start point. That way you don't have to see a whole bunch of fumbling. Now you can also put these lines in. Uh, See how you, you fumble water, around sometimes? Or set them out in the sun, whatever the case may be, and they'll go on a lot easier. Or you can lubricate them. Now, right here, I'm, getting, I'm putting some grease on it. So. As soon as I say that, I'm going to split it, and then when I come back and start talking again, because I was putting grease on it, see that's where I was in, getting in the drawer, putting my grease on, there, in no case I'm going to back this up just a little bit. about right there and I'm going to hit start point again alright now this is what this is how we cut it see we cut out of me waiting to put the grease on it as you can see the grease is on there 
That way you guys aren't just sitting there staring at nothing and um, you hear me in the background fumbling around putting grease on there. But you can see I put the grease on. And put your clamp on. Kind of working in tight spaces here. There's your clamp. Now, add some warm water here. Okay, see there's a, there's a long section there. Soaking in some warm water. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to cut that here. That few seconds out, I'm going to split it. And right before I start talking again, I'm going to set start point. That way, you're not seeing a whole bunch of nothing, you know? Warm water here. And see how that just perfectly... Soaking in some warm water. Right down here. So there you go. Now so let's that see. We're, a bit easier, so we're about halfway, uh, not quite halfway done with our video. We got 10 minutes. We got a 10 minute uh, video there. so far. Uh, All right. 10 minutes and 8 seconds. Uh, we're coming coming up on, on 5 minutes. So we're almost halfway through the video. Blow the water out of it. Okay. So, like I said, I like to cut out a bunch of stuff. You guys see that? That's pretty boring. All right. Like right here, I'm going to split it, and I'm going to go just till I start talking again. Blow the water out of it a little bit. Do the same thing on, on this side. I don't think I soaked it long enough. Yeah, because I, I think I had to re-soak this, that one. I didn't, but let's soak it a little bit more. And then we'll uh, we'll put it on there. Okay, so we can just take this whole section out, which I'm going to remove. All right. All right. Here we go. Right before I get ready to get my hands down in there, there we go. Now let's hit start point there. Make sure every clip's turned all the way up. There you go. So this is what we ended up with after we cut that out. See, now we're down to 9 minutes and 34 seconds. See? Here we go. And also, uh, that's why I say a lot, a lot of people don't understand. If I upload a video that's 46 minutes, it might be 2 hours and 46 minutes before editing. And then you edit out all the bullshit. You know, I spent five minutes looking for a tool. You guys don't want to see five minutes of just one thing and then you hear somebody in the background digging for tools. You know, because a lot of times I try to have everything already set out. That way I can just grab it. But if I forget something, I got to go look for it. Or whatever the case may be. And then, you know, you, you end up with a whole bunch of stuff that you don't need, and that bores people, you know. I mean, people get bored enough on watching YouTube videos, right? So, that's why, you know, I cut a lot of that stuff out. And, like, you got your bloopers. I do, when I do cut them out, I save them. I still have them. That way, then, after I get five or six of them, then I'll, I'll make a, a blooper reel for you guys. So there's that. So we got it there. Now it goes down. Down in there. Up underneath the carburetor right here. So. So that's that's how I do that. That's how I'll I do my cut. in there for that one. So. Okay, now I'm going in this clip right here. Set end point. Because. I did kind of find a way to get for to you guys. All right, now up under here. All right, so all right, I'm gonna set my start point right there. Make sure this clip is turned up. All right, now up under here. Now we're down to nine minutes, nineteen seconds. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Maybe through the. Okay, so now we got. There's me fumbling around trying to get you set up. So, you know, I'm sure you're going to want me to cut that out. So, I'm going to try to get you up here 
where you can see that. So I'm going to stop it right there while I'm going to split it. And then I'm going to go down to once I get the camera set, which I don't think I actually did. I actually had to hold it. So. I'm just trying to hold you here. Yeah. So I'm going to go right to there. And I'm going to, I'm going to hit start point because I already split it. Now this is our cut that we made. That. I'm just trying to hold you here. Let me find the bar. And then I'm going to scroll down yeah. here. And, then and stick this I think on. this is the last clip, so I'm just going to kind of go through there. I'm just like scrolling, really, you know, just sliding my slider over to see where, because here I'm I'm talking, you know, you guys have seen this video probably. And then what I'm going to do is right when I get ready to spin me around right there, I'll cut that. Section. That's why that's off there, but uh. That's how you fix that leak. Now, okay, so I'm going to split it right here. And I'm going to slide my slider over until I just get ready to start talking. I'm going to hit start point and we're going to see, see what we got from there. Okay. Now, I did this video. See, that's how I do my, because, uh, you know, just simple. I want to show you how that's I why I love this. It's just real, real simple and easy to use. Percent of the time, I still use uh, Windows Movie. See, now here I'm just talking to you guys, and which is so. Now I'm going to go to the end. Now on this one, I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to fade out on my audio. I'm going to fade it out fast. Okay, there we go. Now, admit the man a legend. I'm gone for now. Bye bye guys, take care. And I'm gonna give it a couple seconds and then I'm gonna hit set end point and that'll be the end of my video. Okay, there we go. Well let's guys, check thanks it. Thanks for watching. Shea Bear the Myth the Man of Legend. I'm gone for now. Bye bye guys, take care. I forgot to see what we started out with. I think it was like fifteen minutes. Now we're down to eight minutes and forty five second video. So you know, we cut out like almost eight minutes of shit that you don't need. You know what I mean? And here's all our clips over here. All right. Now, if you want to, you can watch it. You can go to full screen, hit that arrow. Bear here. It is. And you can proof watch it. Or you go back up to nine. that. And I'm pretty sure we got it all. Now, I'm going to go ahead and proof watch this, and then I'll show you uh, how I save it. Okay, so I like it. I think it'll be all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm at the home button already, so save movie, and I'm going to save it under YouTube. It's display. It's still 1920 by 1080, uh, but the aspect ratio, you know, it's got it is widescreen, and um, but it's a smaller file. It's uh, the bit rates of 5.19 Mbps. And now if I go recommended for this project, the bit rate's 24.13 Mbps. So, it's going to be quicker if I just, uh, I'm in trouble with my mouse. Now, I'm going to label this one. There's where I'm going to label it. I'm going to label this one how, whoops, how I... Whoops. Edit my videos. In Windows Movie Maker. Now I want to go down here, it's under MP4, but I want to do it under WMV, which is Windows Movie Maker. It's a, there we go. It's under Windows Movie Maker file. Now sometimes this, uh, depending on how long your video is, it'll take longer to render. Shorter video will take shorter time. So we're going to wait this 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 will probably take about 10 minutes. So and then I'll show you what it does. I'll
cut that part out for you because you don't want to sit there watching that. So let me zoom in on it here a little bit. There we go. Now we just wait on it. Alright, so there it is. It's rendered, it's saved. I'm going to close this out and I'm going to close out uh, Movie Maker. It's going to ask me do I want to save changes? No, because I'm already done with this. I don't need to save it for later. So I'm going to hit no. And we're going to come up here on YouTube. I'm going to go over here. Back out a little bit. Here. And I'm going to click create a video or post. Gives me the option to go live, create a post. I'm going to click upload a video. Yeah, I'm having trouble with my mouse now. <clears throat> now I'm going to select my file. We'll go over here to pictures and we're going to scroll this down to the H's. And there it is how I edit my videos in Windows Movie Maker. So I'm going to click on that and there it is. And then I'm going to type in you know, a little bit of my description. I'm going to put my tags up. And uh, there's also an add to a playlist, but I'm not going to add it to any um, because it's really nothing that, you know, it's not life hack. It's not, you know, Chef Shea Bear product review. So I'm not going to add it to any of those. So um, it's going to take about four minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. And in four minutes, that will be uploaded and then it will be um, and then it'll it'll process for a couple minutes and there we go it's already uh, uploaded 19 percent still got four minutes remaining so there we go guys so that's how I edit my my videos in Windows Movie Maker yes I still use it I still love it for little short clips or sh short videos like this um, when I need need a little bit more stuff then I'll go to like if I use that camera right up there you know it's an older camera you get the black bars on the sides so I'll go into uh, my uh, power director 15 which is upgraded like I said it's updated to power director 16 now um, that was like a $60 I think I gave 60 or it was $60 and I got it for 40 or whatever I got it at Best Buy um, so it works. It works really well. It does a, a lot of stuff, but it's it's not faster than this. It's only going to be as fast as your computer is, and this computer is not fast. And like I said, the Microsoft here lately is is has really slowed my computer down a lot. But um, but yeah. So when I need when I need to, you know, crop a video or something, yes, I'll I'll use one of the other ones. But just for this, this is just fast, and it is technically it's a lot easier. Uh, to use um, for certain things, you know. So, all right, guys. I want to say thanks for watching. Hope maybe this helped you guys out a little bit. Um, so, with that being said, I'm gonna say hope you guys have a great weekend. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye, bye, guys. Take care.